Hello world and welcome guys, my name is Ivan, I'm from Decoding and in today's video I would like to show you Windows virtualization on M1 Mac. What is Apple M1? Apple M1 is the first ARM based system on a chip designed by Apple as a processor for its line of Macintosh computers. It is deployed in MacBook Air M1 2020. Mac Mini M1 2020 and the MacBook Pro 13 inch M1 2020. It is the first personal computer chip built using a 5 nanometers process. Apple claims that it has the world's fastest CPU core in low power silicon and the world's best CPU performance per watt. What is virtualization? OS virtualization is the use of software to allow piece of hardware to run multiple operating systems images at the same time. The technology got its start on mainframes decades ago, allowing administrators to avoid wasting expensive processing power. Today we will talk about simplest M1 virtualization solution, UTM. What is UTM? UTM is an app for running other operating systems on your iPhone or iPad or M1 Mac. It is not for running iOS on other systems. This allows you, among other things, to run Windows or Linux on your iOS device at the usable speed. How does it work? The majority of the work is done by QEMU. Because iOS devices lack hardware virtualization support, we cannot use the KVM accelerator and instead use the TCG accelerator which does dynamic code translation and JIT compilation. UTM also includes SPICE client written for a metal. This connects with a SPICE server in QEMU and allows for some para-virtualization as the QXL graphics driver running on the guest OS can send low-level draw commands directly to metal APIs. What are the limitations? The lack of hardware virtualization on Apple M1 ARM means that even for ARM code, we must recompile it with a JIT. Therefore, performance would never reach the levels possible with KVM. There is also no support for GPU virtualization, so that means no DirectX or OpenGL. This makes most modern games non-playable. So let's get started. Go to this GitHub page Scroll bit down to download section and we need to download three files. First file is UTM application. Go to GitHub page, click on code, then releases and download latest release. Second file is Windows 10 image. You must be registered with Windows Insider. Just log in with your Microsoft account and download the image. Third file is also image with the drivers. Just click on the link and download will start automatically. All the links you can find in description. First open UTM DMG file. Copy UTM app into your applications folder. Then open UTM app. Click on open create new virtual machine. Change virtual machine name to Windows 10. Change icon style to OS and choose Windows 10 icon. Then go to section System, change architecture to ARM64. Change memory to 4 GB. Click on Show Advanced Settings. Change CPU count to number 4. Then go to Section Drives. Click on Import Drive, choose Windows 10 image. Click on Open. Change interface to NVMe. Click on New Drive. Choose Removable, click on Create. Go to Network section. And since full screen currently doesn't work, 
we will have to use Remote Desktop as a workaround, and Remote Desktop is using port 3389. So click on New. Guest port will be 3389. Host port will be 3389. Hit Save. And once again, click on Save. Click on Save, then click on Windows 10, go to Section Interface, USB, click on Browse and choose Drivers, ISO Image, click on Open. And now we are done with the setup of the VM. Now it's time to start our ARM Windows VM. Click on Play button, then press multiple times Escape. We want to change resolution of our VM. Go to Device Manager, then OVMF, Platform Configuration, Change Preferred, choose Highest Resolution and hit Enter to confirm, then hit Escape and press Y to save resolution change. Hit Escape once again and choose Reset. Now we will have to wait for first Windows Boot and Initial Setup. It will take some time, approximately 2 minutes. Ok, now it looks like Windows Initial Setup is ready. First, we need to choose our region. In our case, it is the United States. Hit Yes. Now it is time to choose our keyboard layout. I will choose US, then click on Yes. If you want to add another keyboard layout, you can add it right now. Since this is not stable version, I recommend to click on skip. At this moment, internet connectivity is not working in our VM. So please choose I don't have internet. Then click on continue with limited setup. Click on accept. Create new users. We will use dummy username user. Click on next. Choose your password and click on next. Don't leave it blank because remote desktop feature will not work. Since UTM does not support full screen, we will have to use remote desktop as a workaround. Yes, we can set up our password later on, but right now it is much more easier. Repeat your passwords and click on next. Fill all three security questions and click on Next. Uncheck everything and click on Next and Accept. Then click on Not Now. Wait approximately 2 minutes and our ARM Windows on M1 will be ready. First we need to postpone Windows updates. So go into Start, Settings, Update and Security, Windows Update, click on Pause Updates for 7 more days. Then go to Advanced Options and choose Pause until latest date. In my case it is Thursday 21st of January. Then click on Home button and search for Remote Desktop Settings. Enable Remote Desktop. Click on Confirm. Scroll all the way down and click on select users that can remotely access this PC. Click on add, write your username, then click on check names and then hit OK and once again OK. We are done with the remote desktop setup. Now it is Windows drivers time. Open File Explorer. Go to this PC, go to D drive, then right click on the NetKVM file. Click on install, click on yes, click on yes once again. Do the same thing with the rest of the drivers. After driver setup is done, we can check internet connectivity with Microsoft Edge. Ok, it looks like we have internet connectivity. 
Just to confirm we are on ARM, we can check our current Windows version. So go to Start, Settings, System and About. As we can see, it is ARM Windows on M1 Mac. In this section, we will connect to this VM via Remote Desktop. Press Ctrl plus Option to release your mouse from VM, then press Command plus Spacebar and search for Remote Desktop. Open Remote Desktop. Click on Add. PC name is Localhost. Then click on Add. Double click on Localhost. Fill in your Windows username and password and click on Continue. Click on Continue once again. And now we have Windows ARM full screen on M1 Mac. Now we can start with our experiments. First I tried to update Microsoft Edge. It worked without any issues. Then I tried to install Microsoft Office x86, Word, Excel, PowerPoint and it worked very well. I also tried x86 version of Total Commander, ARM64 version of 7-zip, GIMP with a success. I was wondering if it is possible to run 4K video on this VM. So I launched Microsoft Edge and tried 4K video on YouTube. At a 4K resolution, video is totally broken, but full HD video with the closed eyes is not too bad. Unfortunately, not everything in this beta is working as expected. Microsoft Store is not working at all, and every application which can be downloaded from Microsoft Store is also not working. Microsoft announced few days ago support of X64 apps on M1. At this stage, beta version with X64 apps support is not available. I believe in a few months we will see huge progress on this and ARM M1 will be king of personal computers. I tried Geekbench. Here you can see my Geekbench results. My Geekbench first setup was with 6 CPUs. Here you can see my second Geekbench attempt. Results are with 1 CPU. At the end I tried some Windows Classic games. If you are a fan of Solitaire, Spider, Klondike, Pyramid, Freepix, you can definitely play them on M1 Mac. Please be aware that this virtualization solution is still in beta and it is not stable at all. Everything is still in progress. Solutions for M1 virtualization are changing every day. Today Parallels released technical preview of M1 virtualization app Parallels Desktop 16 for M1 Mac. We will show you Parallels Desktop 16 for M1 Mac in our next video. Be humble, stay tuned and subscribe. Ciao!